Our other big story this morning, the battle over the meals tax is really heating up. Republican lawmakers are calling for a special session. They say it needs to be fixed. The governor's budget includes taxing certain prepared foods like prepared meals at the grocery store. But as Channel 3's Eva Zamaris explains, the plan goes well beyond what the governor says was intended. She's joining us live now from Westside Marketplace with a closer look at what happens next. Eva? Good morning to you both. We're being told that a revised tax plan could be released any day now. Now shoppers that we've spoken to feel they're being taxed enough. And now grocery stores like Westside Marketplace are waiting to hear officially from the state what's being affected and what's not. Taxing certain food at the grocery store has caused an uproar and confusion. Governor Ned Lamont's budget includes a meals tax, which is set to take effect in just a few weeks on October 1st. It will put a sales tax on hot food buffets, many baked goods, and even bags of lettuce. When the Department of Revenue Services released a list of what will be affected, lawmakers raised concerns about how many items would be taxed at a higher rate. This week, Governor Ned Lamont blamed the DRS for misinterpreting what he says was intended, and he directed them to revisit a memo he said, quote, too broadly interpreted, end quote, which prepared food items would be affected by the extra 1% tax. Republicans feel more needs to be done to fix the problem, and that's why they're calling for a special session. While the governor and Democrats believe this can be resolved without doing that, now, lawmakers can call themselves into special session by submitting petitions. A majority is needed in both the House and the Senate. Now, be sure to stay with us not only on air, but of course on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story today. Live in Rocky Hill this morning, I'm Evans Maris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.